how is it going Samsung users Mr. Android here? Well, Samsung finally started rolling out the official One UI 6 for Galaxy users and after testing all the beta versions, I was able to install the stable One UI 6 update on my S23 Ultra. With that being said, in today's video, we will be checking out some of the best new One UI 6 features that every Samsung user needs to know about. So if you own a Galaxy smartphone, then stay tuned and watch this video till the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. The first major change that you're gonna notice is when you swipe down and open the quick settings panel, you get this brand new redesigned quick panel which I think looks much more modern and clean when compared to the previous version. I know many people would still prefer the old one because they don't want to lose the one-handed usability. But trust me, this was a much needed change since the old one started to look quite outdated. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles are now separated and I really like how you get the dark mode and the icon for shield right below the brightness bar. Apart from this, if you want to edit and add some more useful tiles, then just tap on this edit icon. Here you get two different layouts and there is an option to edit only the top portion which I think is a nice addition that will definitely help you to configure the quick panel as per your requirement. Now since we are in the edit page, one more setting that you need to turn on is the quick settings instant access. This is disabled by default, but I'll recommend you to go ahead and enable this feature. What it does is, when you swipe from the top right corner, it directly opens up the quick panel without showing any notifications. Even the music player now has this cool waves animation when the music is playing on your phone and it looks absolutely stunning. Overall, I really like what Samsung did with the quick settings panel and especially the waves animation in the media player is absolutely gorgeous to look at. Next, let's talk about one of my favorite One UI 6 feature and that is the drag and drop. Let me show you how this feature actually works. Let's say I want to copy a couple of images from the gallery and paste it inside the Samsung notes. Instead of doing the old copy paste thing, what I can do is just press and hold and drag the images. Now with my other finger, I'll go back, open the Samsung notes app and drop the pictures like this. Not only you can do this with images, but you can also drag and drop text as well. So instead of copying the text and hitting paste, you can simply drag and drop and take your multitasking to the next level. Next, we have got some new widgets added in One UI 6. So if I just long press and go into the widget section, there are a couple of new weather widgets. And the first one that we have is the weather inside widget, which shows you the actual temperature along with some more details like the chance of rain or how is the humidity outside. Then we also get this cool looking dynamic widget that shows you this beautiful animation which changes according to the current weather. Another useful widget that I found is the custom camera widget. This lets you open up a specific camera mode directly from your home screen. You can set it to open the front camera or you can choose different modes like you can directly open the video mode, pro mode or any other specific setting that you use quite often. It even lets you to change the widget title and customize the widget background as well. I think this is the most useful widget added in One UI 6 and I'm sure many of you will use it right away. One UI 6 also brings some new camera features and even the camera UI has changed a lot. When you open the camera app, you now get an option right here to choose the highest megapixels for your picture. And when you go inside the video mode, you can change the video resolution and choose different frame rates directly from the top menu. Now let's talk about some new features. When you go inside the camera settings, there is a brand new setting called Advanced Intelligence option which lets you choose between three different picture quality. Maximum is for the best photo quality with a little shutter lag and you can select minimum if you want to take shots quickly without any shutter lag. This definitely works and if you really want to get rid of that shutter lag which we usually get in Samsung phones, then you can use this feature. There is also this useful auto scan feature in One UI 6 and what it does is if you point to a document, it will take a picture automatically and if your finger or anything is there at the edges, it will remove that completely on its own. Next, let's talk about editing photos. When you swipe up on any picture, you have two different options to quickly edit your picture. So we get remaster and object eraser. Depending on what kind of picture it is and what editing is required for that picture, you get these options. Not only this, now if you make edits to your picture, you will be able to copy those edits and paste it to your other pictures as well. You don't have to manually adjust the white balance, saturation or brightness for every single picture of yours. You can simply copy and paste it in just a few clicks. 
even the editing tools and the entire layout are nicely laid out and well organized when compared to the previous One UI 5. There is also an undo button so you can easily undo any particular change that you don't want to apply to the picture. In One UI 5, you could already customize the lock screen with different clock styles. You can change the color and add different font styles. But now what you can do is, you can actually move and change the position of this clock and place it anywhere you want. Not only this, you also get some new beautiful looking clock faces to customize and take your lock screen to the next level. So there are a couple of new features added just to improve the lock screen customization. Another useful feature that I found inside these settings is when I go to privacy and security, we get this brand new option called auto blocker. It is disabled by default, but you can go ahead and turn it on. It keeps your phone safe by blocking threats and other suspicious activities. It will make sure to block apps from unauthorized service and it even runs security check on a regular basis. Finally, if I talk about the animations and the overall smoothness, guys, if you're coming from One UI 5 or even One UI 5.1, you will definitely notice some major improvements in terms of animation and smoothness. I just love the app opening and closing animation and even when you open the quick settings panel or when you are using the back gesture, everything feels buttery smooth on One UI 6. I will also be making a separate video where I will show you all the animations and we will compare these animations with Pixel UI and iOS as well. So stay tuned for that. That's pretty much it for this video. These are all the amazing new features Samsung added in One UI 6. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.